Ooh. Brother! Liquid! <laughs> 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 I am Joey, and we just saw Ruby Volume 5, Episode 10. Yeah, damn it, Joe. <laughs> Joe's taking our intros. But yes, we did watch Ruby Volume 5, Chapter whatever he said. <laughs> chapter whatever he said, Chapter 10. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good episode, actually, because it was just Blake. Well, it, actually, not really. There was, there was a little bit of... Yeah, that, at the beginning, it, it had a bit of a... Uh, what happened, like previously which was just like the whole talk that they were going to have with we had we had a bit of a bit of the rest of rubes and yeah. then we had that one person raven talking with leo right and then it cut to blake and what's happening there right. started off with gunshots that was awesome yeah so you're standing out in the well open i guess like just kind of focusing on just like one thing at a time with ruby and the thing her question about the relic of the the king being the relic and him just saying like no, that whole scene just felt like it did. That's literally a viewer question right there. We read your comments, people. Here's how we're gonna answer it. It's not a relic. I have no questions. <laughs> what else can we help you with? I have just one question. No, my cane is not the relic. Okay, I have no questions. <laughs> I have no more questions. It didn't really quite really answer anything for me as far as the significance of the cane, but. It's just, it's just a little cool thing that Oz has. It's just like, eh, it's mine. You haven't seen all of it yet. It's also a gun. <laughs> but they're pretty much playing on what they're going to do as far as Leo actually contacting them saying, oh, hey, uh, I got this group of raiders who will help us out against the fight with them. Obviously, we already know that they've already made amends. And then um, Salem's team made it there first. And that's kind of showing up with Raven just being there with Leo. Pretty much waiting for an ambush, it seems. Yeah, actually, no, yeah, that's just what's gonna happen, like an ambush, no? Get the others down. You should have been. Why did you stand here all this time he's dropping? Oh, Mr. Lionheart is waiting for you in his office. Nice. Boom! <laughs> what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Well, it was just Raven talked to Leo, which was the second part, and then Blake's stuff, which wrapped up pretty nicely. Uh, there were some questions about what happened in the fights. Insert clip here. Oh no 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 no! Come here, you! <gasps> Why did it blow up? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Answer in another day. And again, I'm asking, why did he blow up? That like, one, are that... are the weapon are those like size that he's carrying? Are those like so energized that the smallest nicks to them will cause them to create an explosion? Maybe. It could be that they're like me, powered by dust. He he got really turned up. Like <laughs> I don't mean to be like ex like go into the party, but he got turned up the moment he got the opportunity to look at um, Gira and Son's uh, clones. Just held up. It's like, oh, this is my chance. Like, Ooh, I'm a salmon boy. <laughs> so the the structure fell on him. There was no fires on it. No, right? the stru the structure fell on him, and then it blew up. So it might it might just be the weapons that just blew up. Why? Because dust blows up. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's been no other case of spontaneous blowing up in this. Well, what about Weiss, like, throwing all that dust at that hornet thing? The hornet thing? Episode 2. Of this show? Yeah. This season? Yeah. I didn't watch episode 2. Okay, well, that can bust. Oh, uh, yeah, 2 and 3 I haven't seen. Also, a big thing to talk about is, well, other than the fact that Blake's mom, like, totally beat up Batman... <laughs> Yeah. Wow. She Rapunzeled his ass. Like, took him out. I kind of want to see that. Dude, like, I want tangled his ass. She just seems like she was just kind of making do with, like, whatever she had, which was a gun, which stopped working. So she just had, like, this weird board just to cover up. And then... It was a nice little platter. It was a nice platter. And then she just went and beat up Batman. And we didn't get to see that. I kind of wanted to, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say the explosion was from the dust, as we just saw. That's I want a, someone that's to a, explain it to me comment section of the actual rooster teeth channel that's watching this and not people watching us talk about it i need you to tell me why did it blow up email, e email. at reply <laughs> yeah email at reply uh dm <laughs> fucking tweet 
um, Snapchat and Instagram, whoever you need to ask um, with Miles. Miles is the producer for this, right? You tell Carrie, Gray, and Miles, why did he blow up? That's all you have to say. Why did he blow up? Mm, okay. So with that, also obviously like the big thing going on here was that fight with Blake and Ilya, which is actually pretty well structured, I would say, as far as them using the environment exactly. and everything like that. What was interesting Ooh. was how it was just pretty much Blake's, I guess, double-bladed gun ribbon thing versus Ilya's gun, but also whip, whip. electrical whip. Yeah. Just how they all worked out. Blake jumping across, like, I guess, t a table or two just to evade all she, the attacks. And she used her semblance a yeah, lot. Yeah, she, she, she was using her uh, Noctis semblance. Her shadow also. It's 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 a strange ability. If used with dust, it's pretty much like a shadow clone with elemental properties. But without it, it is Noctis. Sh shadow clone jutsu. Like, was it phasing? Yeah. yeah, it's phasing. The phase dodge? Yeah. That's so cool. The Ooh. first time she used it? Oh, that was so cool. Just... Bitch, she did you think I was going to be that basic? <laughs> Bitch, did you think I was going to be that basic? Where are you? Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she used it a lot, which I really appreciate because I feel like we haven't seen too many semblances except for maybe Gira's like, transformation. That's probably a semblance, maybe. Um, Another one that... uh, oh, I guess, would Spider One count? The Spider Girl? I don't mm -hmm. think so. Oh, well, Sun's also he sings yeah. clone things. He he uses, he uses his shadow clones a lot, but um, I like the fact that Blake kept using it because it shows that her and Ilya are kind of on equal fields when it comes to their fighting ability. Well, about to punch right, him. they're just like sheer combat. Yeah, ability. she's constantly pushed into Such a, a corner where semblance. she has to do these last second dodges. Right. So it kind of goes to like Ilya's uh pr combat prowess mm -hmm. and. Because there's been times that um, Ilya would swing at Blake and Blake would dodge it and just dodge, dodge. Dodge, but dodge. But there's, there's times when she has to phase past it because she can't. Because Ilya's a little bit too fast. And there was definitely a lot of tension between them as far as like conflict within themselves. Fight, fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. 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 <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of saying when Blake pins her down and just like how do you stop Ilya from fighting because Ilya is just out of control at that point and even when Garrett like comes out from the other room just knocking one of them out right. he he busted through a wall <laughs> didn't even care about the door honestly that whole time they're there I was trying to get my phone to work that I could <laughs> <laughs> oh man well we got to find some hotkeys there well there are hotkeys but the it, the app takes so long for it to load uh, that the the screen will be frozen and i can't anything anything oh that was a cool fight but yeah Ilya was so ready just to fight back instead of actually rationally thinking about things i guess that's a good idea that how they portrayed her combat. Even when Elio was saying, like, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. When Gear comes in, it's like, oh shit, I gotta go into attack mode. And then doesn't show up until later when uh, the other the other part of the White Fang was about to attack and just gets whipped by her. And so that's that's actually her redemption. Fenix brother. Redemption. Fenix brother. So that, I guess that's her redemption. I know that we, I, it. yeah. And you're like, I don't think she's redeemed yet. She has too much turmoil. Well, that turmoil was solved in the time it took them to walk outside. I'll stand with you. Hell yeah. If, if you'd have me. Damn it! I can't use it. It takes so long to load. I guess so, because it, it took Blake just to say like, "This is not from the humans. It's from us. We can be just as bad and evil as they, they can be." So look uh, at what they did to my house. Look at it. Look at this fire. Do you have any idea how long my family's been building this home? Seven generations. Seven generations we've been building this home. And they burned it. It took them seven minutes to destroy seven generations. You see this tapestry? No, because it's on fire. It's dust now. It's not the good dust. We can't use this to create fire and ice and lightning and jump off of black circles in the air like my friend Weiss over there. But way over there. But still... 
Most of that fire was caused by Blake. <laughs> Blake needed to turn. <laughs> she needed to eliminate everything so she could see Ilya. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's Ilya, her just redeeming herself. She decides to join Blake and Son and everyone else. Even Mama's Boy. Mama's Boy was joining in too. He was the first one outside of Ilya. It was great. I'm, gl- I'm glad he's getting some redemption can, too. Can, can, we, can we put in the clip of what I said? It's Mama's boy. It's Mama's boy. You ain't going anywhere, honey. Yes, I am, mother. What? I'm the man of the house now. I'm, I'm glad that Eli could definitely change face, but it's kind of weird at the same time. So what you're saying is, if you could change your face, would you? And she did. I don't know. Maybe I'll get more reflection like in next episodes or something. Well, like that. she wants to jump Blake's bones so bad, she'll be willing to do anything. I mean, there's also that. I like, like that. I really like that. Like, son's like, so what made you so quick to change? It's like, well, uh, 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 uh. And she see? starts turning pink. <laughs> and son's like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and then you compete over Blake. <laughs> oh, I would love that if that was just like a subplot that happened for the rest of how long they're hanging out. Yeah. Just son and Ilya shooting glares at each other trying to get Blake. Also, Sun's team's still waiting for him in Haven. <laughs> they're Sun, still, they're still waiting. Uh, Sun was with Neptune in them, right? Right. Fucking and then they, Neptune, he's afraid of water. What yeah. was his team name? I think it was Sun. Jesus Christ, SSSN. <laughs> Sun, Scarlet, Sage, Neptune. Team Sun. Uh, That's pretty much it. I, I'm glad that Blake's... I guess side of the story's pretty much been resolved. It might just take a little bit for them to go to Haven, mm-hmm. in which case they have like two weeks to prepare for that. Um, although, uh, I don't know how I feel because I guess the attack on Haven isn't supposed to happen anytime soon, but based on the story, it's going to happen tomorrow, right? Uh-huh. Uh, from Ruby's side of things, so... I'm not sure how things are going to line up that way. Because just based on how they kind of present things, everything's happening parallel to each other as far as the sequence. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how things will line up. When will Blake arrive when, you know, Ruby and the gang are fighting off uh, Raven and anyone else? So. And as far as, like, I guess their survival rate over there, there with Ruby and co., I don't know if they're well off. Because they don't really show a lot of their training either. I'm not sure how Oscar is now with combat. He just is. He, he could throw a punch. I think if it really came down to like a life and death fight, I think Oz would take over. Oz uh, would take over and let Oscar kind of learn how to fight through the bleeding effect. Yeah. Some some, uh, some Assassin's Creed. Assassino. Yeah. Some Assassin's Creed knowledge right there. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, anything else you want to add, Gabe? I think I did want to add something, but I don't know what it was. Mm. I guess we can jump back to that in the next episode, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh, uh, this was great. Yeah, it was a good episode. Nice fight. Yeah, how long was it? Total runtime, 19 and a half minutes. All right. It's the longest episode they've had since, since episode three. Well, I mean, it's taking them off in the pick up the pieces, but I'm glad that they picked it up. And I think that's why the episode was so good. Because it was longer. Yeah. It felt long. It did. So, yeah. It felt... It def- it, the show really does suffer from short episodes. Mm-hmm. And how they divide up the plot. Yeah. Short runtime is just not good for the show. Nowadays. Well, actually, the, in general. Here's yeah. the funny thing. This is an episode that they could have made shorter because they're only two stories that they're focusing on. Every other episode was a short episode, and it had all four people doing their own thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, let's cut it short, and we will have more stories to tell. Now that we have less stories, make it long. Like, what? It's backwards. <laughs> it's whatever, though. Yeah, well, at least we've got this good one. Now we have four more episodes left of the season. There's 14 long. episodes? Yeah, there's 14 episodes for this one. So, we'll see how things pan out. I guess that's it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to just be in the know of everything that we do as far as Ruby stuff, uh, please be sure to subscribe and also hit that 
the subscriber bell button. I keep tripping over that. The if subscriber I say sub- bell button? Yeah. But when I say subscribe, it's okay. But subscriber bell button. Uh, just click on that. Just to, just know by the minute when we post stuff. And also support our Patreon. All, all you got to do is do what you did with uh, the podcast. Just say it over and over for like an hour. Got it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag bye, everyone. Like, no joke. I have problems saying podcast sometimes. Because really? I'm so used to saying podcast. Oh. Hmm. Like, I feel the R should be in there. <laughs>